This is the second and last video of unsaponifiable matter determination. In this part, we will process the washed hexane extracts, then we will go for the titration. After that, we will calculate the unsaponifiable matter percent. Rewinding from the last of part 1. Let's start the second part by processing of hexane extracts. Transfer the hexane extracts along with the emulsion into a beaker. Rinse the separating funnel with n hexane and add the rinsing to the hexane extracts. Place the beaker in hot air oven and dry at 90 degrees Celsius for 90 minutes. You can see a separate water layer at the bottom of the beaker. Now, we have to separate and discard the water layer from the hexane extract. Pour the extract into a separating funnel. Shake the funnel vigorously for 30 seconds. Wait for 20 minutes to let the water layer separate. You can see a separate and clear water layer at the bottom. Now drain and discard the water layer. Collect the water-free hexane extracts into a beaker washing the funnel with n hexane. Dry the extract in oven at 90 degrees Celsius to evaporate the hexane until about 5 ml extracts remains. Now take weight of a clean and dried conical flask. Note the flask weight.
transfer the extract from the beaker into the conical flask. Wash the beaker with inhexin and add the washing to the extract. Now dry the extract at 90 degrees Celsius to evaporate the hexane completely. You can see the unsaponified oil extracted residue at the bottom of the flask. Now add 3 ml acetone to the flask. Rotate and shake the flask to dissolve the residue in acetone. Dry the flask at 90 degrees Celsius in oven to evaporate the acetone and moisture. Cool the flask in desiccator. Take weight of the flask with the residue. It's time for titration. Take 50 ml ethanol into a beaker and heat on hot plate. Add 2 drops of phenolphthalein indicator solution. Add 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution dropwise until faint peak color observed to neutralize the ethanol. Now add the neutralized ethanol into the conical flask contains extracted residue. Shake and heat the flask to dissolve the residue in ethanol completely. Add few drops of phenolphthalein indicator solution into the flask. Take 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution in a burette and note the initial burette reading. Stir titration with vigorous acetation of the flask. Faint pink color indicates the end point of the titration. Note the final burette reading.
Now we are ready for the calculation. Let's put the known values in the right side. Sample weight WS is 2.4074 grams. We can get the residue weight A by subtracting the weight of flask with residue from the weight of blank flask. Volume of sodium hydroxide solution used in the titration V is Final burette reading 20.8 minus initial reading 19 by subtracting, we get V is 1.8. We used 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide standard solution. That's why N is 0.1 normal. Now we are going to find the amount of fatty acids by the equation 1. By solving the equation 1, we get the amount of fatty acid in residue B is 0.0507 gram. Now we will do the final calculation to find the unsaponifiable matter. Let's put all the values in the equation 2. By solving the equation, we get down saponifiable matter of our sample is 1.879%.